can kind of like it just feels like you're in the future right now. A little bit. This morning, our exclusive look inside Google's quantum computing lab in Santa Barbara, California. So put our goggles on. It's the, the quantum computers we make operate at very low temperatures. Okay. Oh my gosh. Where the tech titan is building this quantum computer. And every one of these plates gets colder, 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 colder until this volume down here is basically one of the coldest places in the entire universe. A web of wires and complex engineering built to stay super cold to keep this special computer chip called Willow running. This chip is what's actually doing all those calculations super fast. Exactly. It solved a calculation in just a few minutes that would have taken today's fastest supercomputer 10 septillion years. That's 10 followed by 24 zeros. Not everyone <laughs> gets to look at these things up close. Now we're the first to see how it's reached a major breakthrough. A new algorithm Google says could ultimately help make discoveries in fields like agriculture and medicine. What are some examples of how this could be used in actual real life. A quantum computer could actually be critical in the drug discovery process. What the pharmaceutical companies uh, have to do is they do a lot of trial and error. They make different drug candidates. They, some of them work and some of them don't. What a quantum computer could do is it allow you to focus on the ones that are much more likely to succeed and then they would actually have to spend less time kind of going through trials that wouldn't work at all. We asked the founder of Google's lab, computer scientist Hartmut Nevin, if quantum computing is the next AI. AI is in the name of this lab, quantum, Google Quantum AI. What's behind that decision to put it together like that? I worked in AI before, but then came to the realization that aided um, with quantum computing, AI will become so much more powerful and will be able to solve problems that AI running on classical computers will never be able to solve. Okay, so computer scientists say we'll still take years for quantum computers to be part of our everyday lives. And one of the risks is that these computers are actually so smart, they could bypass encrypted data like your credit card info, your medical info, that right now we think that information is safe, guys. Oh, okay, mm. just, let's keep it that <laughs> way. A little bit of a warning there for you. All right, yeah. but that is fascinating. Thank you, Elizabeth.